It's going to be a long day for the Northern Hemisphere. The North Pole is expected to receive a full 24 hours of daylight, gradually decreasing to around 12 hours of daylight at the equator, making today the longest day of the year. The summer solstice of June 21st, 2010. I'm Molly and this is Rocket Boom. In space weather, the jacketed meteor shower will hit the International Space Station and the Hubble Telescope in October late next year, but NASA is confident that both crafts will remain resilient against the millions of tiny space pebbles expected to rain down on the… 2. NASA is also predicting that the volume of water contained in the Moon is even greater than the volume of water contained in Lake Superior, Huron, Michigan, Erie and Ontario combined. Though there are only dry lakes on the moon now, apparently one can squeeze the H2O from a moon rock. Just like I do with all the lemons in the comments. In other solids and liquids? 15 million pounds of SpaghettiOs with meatballs have been recalled by Campbell's Soup for being undercooked and unfit for human consumption. Any SpaghettiOs without meatballs are said to be technically safe to eat, but of course safe is a relative measurement here. I can only assume that toast soldiers are going AWOL right now. I tend to think of this kind of safe when I think of canned food diets for World War III or any time after the Mayan calendar ends in 2012. According to one study on monkeys and another on worms, animals that eat less calories live longer. This contributes to the ongoing research that has been in fashion for many years, demonstrating that the less you eat, the longer you live. But if you're a Turritopsis nutriclea jellyfish, the calories don't really matter, because you'll probably live forever. It's a tough world out there. We'll live indefinitely. For better or worse. The secret? This immortal jellyfish undergoes a process called transdifferentiation, which allows the creature to revert back to its polyp stage, its first stage in life, over and over indefinitely. The secret ingredient in Worcestershire sauce? Dead fish. Moving on. A virtual organism called Gemini has been the world's first self-replicating virtual organism to be developed inside of John Conway's 40-year-old game, The Game of Life. The Game of Life started as an attempt to show what happens if you create a world with just a few simple rules and how it can evolve into something extraordinarily complex. In Conway's Game of Life, if you only have a neighbour or two, or too many neighbours, you would die out. But if you had just the right number, you would survive. It's kind of like the universe. Eventually, weird things happen. Like you and me, for instance. Or whoever wore this old Armenian shoe. Found by a group of scientists from the Kotzen Institute of Archaeology at UCLA, this leather shoe is roughly 5,500 years old, making it the oldest known leather shoe in existence. News of the shoe made the rounds through the mainstream media last week, but since it's so old, we figured it would still be fresh today. In sports, a supercomputer named Watson, built by IBM, will be competing against humans on the purportedly challenging game show Jeopardy. Meanwhile, Bangkok's Information and Communication Technology Ministry is initiating a new plan to take down any internet service providers that refuse to block access to sites that are deemed defamatory to Thailand's monarchy. So far, the ministry has taken down 43,000 sites, and as a result, those numbers are expected to rise. And finally, for our viewers in the Southern Hemisphere, I recommend getting a sweater and a nice warm mug of hot cocoa. You've got a long, cold winter ahead. Thank <laughs> you.